So today we are going to dive into acne. I talk to you guys a lot about aging and a lot of you have acne and you're aging. So we're going to talk a bit about both. Um, but most of all, I want to dive into the topic of clear skin. I have a common thing that I find with my clients coming to me with breakouts. It's the first thing that you guys, with the first thing y'all do is you go out and you get yourself an acne cleanser or an acne scrub. And it could be um, from on my website or maybe you go down to the drugstore and you get one. And then you keep using your same skincare products, but you use this medicated cleanser or scrub on your face. And I call that the cleanser approach to clear skin. Um, I will say that occasionally it works, but for most people, especially those people who get five or more blemishes in a month, that approach doesn't do the trick. So let me talk a little bit about why that doesn't work. In fact, I even had a family member reach out to me over the holidays with a son who's breaking out and she wanted a product. Give me a product. And I wish, oh gosh, you guys, I wish I could give you one product that would clear your acne and solve all your problems, but it's just not that simple. And many of you know that, right? So when you use a, a harsh cleanser or a scrub, to take care of your acne, the problem is that most often that harsh product disrupts your skin barrier. So then you have a disrupted skin barrier that you are then putting on your serums, your moisturizers, or your sunscreen, your makeup, your foundation on top of that disrupted barrier. And a lot of times those products contain acne causing ingredients. So when you have a disrupted barrier combined with acne causing ingredients, you have a recipe for frustration because your skin's gonna break out even worse and you're not gonna know why and you feel like nothing will work. So what I'm here to tell you today is that we have a different approach at Art of Skin Care. 14 years ago, I was in the kind of in your boat, right? I was out there, I, I was using the best of the best the best skincare products and brands that you can find on the earth. And I was having trouble keeping my acne clients clear. And out of my frustration, I kept reaching out and looking to try new things. I found one line that I brought on and I would use it and I use it with a client for three months and they'd be clear and I'd be like, yes, this is it. And then ah, at three months, all of a sudden they're breaking out again and it's back with a gusto and I'd be like, oh, so frustrating. Well, then I, I met Laura Cooksey. Laura Cooksey is the founder of Face Reality Skin Care and right about that time was right when she was developing the products for her Face Reality product line. And so I started incorporating some of the products that she was making into my protocols with my acne clients. And finally, I started seeing real improvement to where I could pretty much guarantee anybody that I could clear their skin. Sometimes it would be clear in two weeks, sometimes it would take three months, but we would achieve clear skin. And after a few years, I even had dermatologists referring clients to me because they had clients who'd been on, on harsh acne prescriptions and they still were not getting clear. So enter today, we're now been, you know, 14 years later, we've been using face reality. All of my estheticians are face reality certified acne specialists. Laura and I have collaborated a lot. We've shared ideas and she has created an amazing line for keeping the skin clear. But guess what? There are some stronger cleansers in the face reality routine, but the backbone of this routine is that you don't disrupt the skin barrier. You start with gentle. So the first thing that we start with in most acne protocols is we pull out the ultra gentle cleanser from face reality. This is probably our number one selling cleanser at Art of Skin Care because it is so gentle and it is anti-inflammatory and it is very calming for anybody who has blemish prone skin. Then we take, in Face Reality, what Face Reality does is they then target 
the kind of acne you have. So they have some different correctives. They have glycolic serum, salicylic serum, and mandelic serums. And that's where you, wanting to, needing to work with an acne specialist really comes in handy because we can determine what kind of acne you have and then we can pull the exact kind of serum, corrective serum, that is best for that type of acne. Now I will tell you, if you want to be your own acne coach and your own acne specialist, you can do that. The number one serum that I start most everyone on is Face Reality's Mandelic 8%. So with Face Reality, your first step is to use that gentle cleanser. Then you're going to use the moisture balancing toner for most people. Now, if you're working with an acne coach already or you're working with one of my specialists, do what they say because what I'm giving you today are some generalized ways that I start people on face reality. But if you're working with a specialist, you should do exactly what they say because they have their hands on your skin and they know more specifically what's going on. So once I have the skin cleansed and toned, that's when I'm grabbing Face Reality's Mandelic 8% Serum. Let me find it. Here it is, back in here. Now some people look at our Face Reality selection and they see, oh, Mandelic Serum comes in 5%, 8%, 11%, 15%. I think I wanna clear up fast, so I'm gonna get the strongest one they make. Well, I have to tell you, that is not a good idea. We want to start, most every client starts with 8%, and many of them never even have to go higher than 8%. But we want to save those bigger guns for when we need to go stronger. So with acne, you've got to be gentle with the skin, and then you've got to just constantly be gradually increasing the strength of the products that you're using to until you have the skin completely clear. So the most on the face that we ever usually go to is the Mandelic 11%. The 15 is only made for the body and we use that for the back and we use it for the chest. So most people need to start with an 8%. In Face Reality, for the first two weeks that you're on Face Reality, we have you use the Mandelic Serum in the morning. Then after two weeks, you do a check-in with us, and if we feel it is appropriate and you're still getting breakouts, then we'll bump to using the Mandelic Serum twice per day. So what if you're using Face Reality and you're using the Mandelic Serum, but your skin is dry or sensitive? It is super important. Actually, even if you have oilier skin, it is super important to use hydrating products with your acne protocol because we want to protect that skin barrier. So these are the winter months, so I wanted to kind of share with you what we do in the winter months to increase your hydration of your skin and keep your barrier intact. So what we do is it's called a Hydra Balance Sandwich. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cleanse your skin, put on your toner, then you're going to put on a layer of Hydra Balance. This is a gel hydrator You'll put that on your face, allow it to dry, then you put on your Mandelic Serum, and then you put on another layer of Hydra Balance. So you're kind of creating this sandwich effect where you're still getting your nice corrective serum on there, but you're also getting some good hydration on there to protect your skin. And then on top of that is when you're gonna put on one of the moisturizers. So we have the Clear Derma, this is that young person's moisturizer usually, or that person who has more um, combo or oily skin, they can use that clear derma moisturizer. If you're more mature or you have drier skin, that's when you're grabbing Cran Peptide Cream. So today, I'm really going to focus on your AM routine. I kind of shown you this basic um, face reality morning routine, but I want to show you now how you can customize this routine so that it works well for you, especially if you're one of my aging clients. And so not only are you concerned with clearing breakouts, but you're also concerned about becoming overly dry or, and you're concerned about loss of firmness, wrinkles and lines and things like that. So I have a couple of things 
that I do with my clients to help customize their protocol. So these are some things that you can try at home. So we've got our basics out here. Let me pull it up. Oh, if I pull it up, then you can't see it. So we've got Ultra Gentle Cleanser. Then we have our Moisture Balance Toner. And then we're putting on, right, we're doing our sandwich. So then we're putting on our Hydra Balance. Then we're gonna put on our Face Reality Mandelic Serum and we want to let that dry. Let the actives do their work. So let the Mandelic dry. Now, if you tend to be a drier skin person, or maybe you're even a combo skin person, but Hydra Balance doesn't quite give you enough moisture, but you don't want to put a heavy cream on your skin, that's when you're going to pull out this other product I brought. I have a basket that I brought with me today. I'm going to search through here. I'm going to find what I'm looking for. Here it is. So this is when I put to work Michelle Corley's ultimate hydration gel. So if you're that normal combo oily skin, you don't really want to use a creamy moisturizer, but you're needing more moisture than Hydra Balance, then you can use Michelle Corley's ultimate hydrating gel. This gel is fantastic. It really gives you much more moisture than you get with Hydra Balance. So give this puppy a try. If you are in that category of normal combo oilier skin, just follow this up with sunscreen. So let's dive, let's divert a little bit. We'll come back to hydration, but I want to divide, um, I want to go off a little bit and talk about sunscreens. So Face Reality has two sunscreens. We have Ultimate Protection. This is a very, very matte finish. And then we have Daily SPF. This is a chemical sunscreen and it's more moisturizing and Face Reality keeps it around because it's good for those darker skin types. This is a, a sunscreen that won't cause any ghosting or um, weird things with a darker skin. Ultimate protection is not going to work well for a darker skin type. So we have both of these but and they're fantastic. And if you are um, treating a teenager, young adult and you want to Keep it really simple. Either one of these work really great. You can use the Daily SPF as their moisturizer sunscreen. If they're super oily, you can just have them put on Ultimate Protection and you're good to go. But I want to show you one more product to consider. A lot of my acne clients make the change over to Clear Choice. This is called Clear Choice. Um, it's called Sport Shield. So it's Clear Choice Sport Shield SPF. Now, at first when I tell my acne clients about this, they think, oh no, I don't want Sport Shield. Because when you think Sport Shield, oh my goodness, you're thinking waxy, you're thinking thick. This is not that. I, I really wish they'd changed the name because this is beautiful. Um, we kind of compare it to Super Goop. It's a really beautiful sunscreen that works on every skin tone dark skin tone, light skin tone, everybody. It has a really nice feel to it. It is a natural sunscreen, so you're not putting chemicals on your face. So if you are in that category of people I was just talking about and you want to use Ultimate Hydration Gel, you can put this on top as your daily protection. It is super important if you're using Face Reality products, if you're using any acne correctives from any line, you have got to use a daily sunscreen. So Find one that you love and put it on every day. If you can see outside, if you can see daylight, I tell people, if you can see daylight, you need to put on your sunscreen. I even tell my husband this. He, he teases me and I tease him. If you, know, if you can see when you're walking outside, if you can see light coming in the window, you need a sunscreen on your face. So check this one out. If you haven't found your perfect sunscreen that you love yet, check this one out. I think you might really like it. So let's go back then. So if we are more on that normal to dry side of things, you can still do the Hydra Balance sandwich, right? You can do Hydra Balance and then your Mandelic Serum, or you can use the Ultimate Hydration Gel, let it dry, and then put on your Mandelic Serum. And then you're going to need to put on a moisturizer. So we have a couple choices. One choice that a lot of people really like 
is Cran Peptide. This is a moisturizer from Face Reality that has some peptides in it, so it is beneficial for healthy aging. My experience with this is that it feels a little bit waxy, so one thing that you may want to do is spritz a little bit of spritz in your hand, then mix the Cran Peptide in, and then put it on, and then I find it glides really nicely. Now, let me pull out of my basket here. I brought with me Skin Scripts Cucumber Hydration Toner. So how many of you remember when Face Reality's Moisture Balance Toner used to have cucumber scent, right? And then not anymore, they took it out, which is good. If you don't handle scents well, stick with that. But the Cucumber Hydration Toner is, little secret, pretty much the exact same thing as Face Reality's old Moisture Balance Toner. So you can use this in place of Moisture Balance if you like the cucumber. What I like is that I can spritz this into my hand and then mix in Cran Peptide and put it on my face, okay? Now, if you want to pull out a little bigger guns, you want a little more uh, anti-aging support, then Cran Peptide, you can do that. Um, a little secret for you guys, all the products on Art of Skin Care on my website that have the gray Acne Safe badge on them, all of those products are safe to use for my acne clients. Um, we specifically put those badges on to help you guys out. So if you suffer from five or more blemishes per month, then you need to stick to a pretty strict protocol. Work with the acne specialist, um, work with um, Morgan or Hina or myself, and when we work with you, until you are staying mostly clear, until you have five or less blemishes uh, per month, we're gonna stick pretty strictly to the protocols that I just showed you, using the cramp peptide, um, using the Ultimate Hydration Gel or Hydra Balance, we're gonna stick really closely to that till we have you mostly clear. Once you're staying mostly clear, then we're gonna pull from some of the other acne safe products at Art of Skin Care. So there are a few of them that I wanna show you that can be really fun to work with. So one of the most important things I put all of my clients on, even in their 20s, is a vitamin C product. So this year, Skin Scripts came out with Citrus C Nourishing Cream. This is wonderful. It's acne safe, it's good for sensitive skin types. You can use this on top of your Mandelic Serum. So put on your Mandelic Serum, use Citrus C Nourishing Cream as your moisturizer. If you need a little extra moisture, grab Hydra Balance or a hydrating gel, but this makes a really nice lightweight moisturizer for those people who are more normal combo skin. If you have drier skin, use the Nourishing C, but put another moisturizer on top of it. So another fun moisturizer that is acne safe, pulling out of my basket, is a Saucy Berry Moisturizer. So if you are 35, 40 and under, this is a fantastic combination for you guys. This is 8% Mandelic, then the Citrus C Moisturizing Serum. It's like a creamy serum. And then you can put a Saucy Berry Moisturizer on top of it. This combination smells good, feels good. It's wonderful for that younger person who has a little drier skin. So what if you're not younger? What if you're 40 or over, right? Let's see what I've got in my basket for you guys in here. I have a couple of really good things that I like. So I'm gonna qualify this. Some of these you can use right away, even if you are still, as long as you're around five or less breakouts, you can use, oh, let me find the spot to sit this, or it's not gonna roll, here we go. You can use either of these two products in your routine. This is Neogenesis, this is the Barrier Renewal Cream. This is fantastic. It has the perfect balance of lipids to keep your skin barrier intact. So this can be used as your daytime moisturizer with um, your whole face reality routine. 
Now, another product that I love, how many of you have tried this? This is from Tove. The company used to be called Sculpla. They changed their name now to TOV. And this is their Promoter Repair Cell Moisturizer. It comes in the silver tube. Let me open it up. And this is beautiful. This is a gel cream. So when you put it on, it does the most amazing thing. Let me show you it. Got this new one up. Put some in my fingers. And you go like this. It makes these kind of spider webs. It's really cool. So we've got some growth factors in there. We've got collagen promoters in there. We have all kinds of wonderful, silky, great ingredients that you can use on acne prone skin that's going to help firm the skin and increase that V line so you're not having you know that little droopiness on the jawline that we can get. This is a fantastic gel, gel cream that you can use. Now if you have four or less breakouts a month or three or less breakouts a month, you can take, you can go to a little bigger guns. You can do your cleanser, do your toner, put on your Mandelic serum, let it dry all the way, and then you can grab Cavapla. Cavapla is acne safe for those people who are mostly staying clear. If you're still in that phase where we're just trying to get your skin clear, you're not, we're not gonna be playing with any of these products that I'm showing you. This is for after we're maintaining clear skin and we want to start going after some healthy aging. So you can apply on top of your Mandelic Serum after a stride, you can apply Cavapla and then you can put the Promoter Repair Moisturizer on top of it. This is a duo, they're made to go together, but they can be used one or the other by themselves. So the first thing to start with probably is the Promoter Repair Moisturizer. Use that for several weeks and see how your skin is going. And if it's maintaining that clear skin and you still want to go more after those little lines and loss of firmness, then add in your Cavapla, okay? Now, somebody who is really dry, I had it today, one of my clients reached out to me and she is really dry and so she's using this gel She's acne prone, so we have to be careful what heavier moisturizer we use with it. She loves this gel, wants to keep using it, and so what I have her do, and I have other clients do, and I even do it myself, is I apply a layer of barrier renewal cream on top of the promoter repair cream, and then putting on my sunscreen. And so that works out really well. Now, in talking about adding in extra things to your skincare routine, Face Reality has some extra things too. And these are products that generally we don't add in until you are mostly staying clear. Let me grab them. Let's see, it's called antioxidant and everything. Okay, one thing is the antioxidant peptide gel. This, they came out with an eye product so that you can use it morning and night and use it with your acne med. If you're using acne med at nighttime, that's a benzoyl peroxide product and it cannot be used with a traditional moisturizing lotion or cream, anything that has any amount of oil in it. It will just travel. And then your acne med will travel up into your eye area and you'll end up with puffy eyes and peeling eyes. So if that's happening to you, that's why it's happening. You've gotta be careful what kind of eye product you use when you're using acne med. So they made this great gel it's used around the eye area, it's used morning and night, and then you can put on your acne med at nighttime with it. Now, we occasionally have, um, this is great for anybody, 20s, 30s, that's, this is the range that's great for you. If you're above that range and you're needing a gel for your eyes, let me get my basket again, that's when you're gonna spend a little bit more money and you're gonna get from Michelle Corley the Revitalizing Peptide Stem Cell Eye Gel. This is a little miracle worker. This is the most concentrated peptide product I have found anywhere on the market. It works wonders for the eyes. And when this first came out in the first few years, 
We all loved it so much. We were putting it on our lips, our whole face. We were applying this everywhere. So Michelle had to actually develop one for us to use on the face so that we weren't using up our, our eye gel on our whole face. So you can also get this gel for the whole face and you could use it like you use Hydra Balance, but it'll have those great peptides in there and, um, and it is acne safe. But for the eyes, you can use this as your day and nighttime product and it will not interfere with your acne med. Now the other product that Face Reality has that we love is the antioxidant serum. So this is also a light gel. It's an antioxidant peptide face serum. So where I had mentioned using citrus seed nourishing cream, instead of using citrus seed, this is your antioxidant. Instead of using this, you could actually um, use from Face Reality, you could start out by using their antioxidant gel. Now, I have to tell you, Face Reality wants us, has advised us, and we have found it to be true. This is not something you want to put into your protocol until your skin is staying pretty clear. Because it just, in the beginning, until your skin is staying consistently clear, we don't want to mess with our original face reality protocol. We know that we are 99% successful if we stick with that protocol. So we're going to stick with that in the beginning until we have you mostly clear and then we're going to play with it and add in one at a time some of these other ingredients that really play friendly with the face reality, the other face reality products. So. We do have a little special going on this week. It's very unusual. I don't think we've ever done it before. So right now you can get Face Reality products from us at 15% off. We do have a special code that you have to use. And of course I didn't write it down. I don't know what it is. I'll put it in the notes and the description. And also you can reach out to our live chat. Our live chat is always there to help you and answer the questions that I can't answer when I'm on here with you guys. I have a great team. I love everything that they do. And sometimes, you know, that's just not where my head's at. I'm not thinking about what the code is. I'm thinking about what great skincare tips I can share with you guys when we're on here. So I am now going to get on and see if I can start answering questions because I'm sure that all of you guys have a lot of questions for me about your skin, about acne, about staying clear, and how to have a healthy aging protocol that is acne safe. So let me get on here. I'm gonna bring it up now. I'm almost there. Oh, I could have trouble getting to the comments. Hmm. Yeah, because it's all messed up because I messed up today. So let me figure out Mahalia. Mahalia is on there. I saw her comment on there. Mahalia, can you give me questions on Teams? Otherwise, I'm just not sure if I'm gonna be able to find it. Oh, here we go, here's the live. Maybe I am finding it. I'm getting better and better at technology, you guys. I surprised myself. I found it, yay. Okay, let me get this stuff out of my way. And I'm gonna get this right over here so I can answer questions. Yay, I do see we have some questions. I love questions. I love when you guys come in and ask me a lot of questions. And I can see I'm blurry. At least on my computer, I'm very blurry today. Let's see if I change this, if that helps. Hmm, just looks like we have a blurry image. I apologize for that, you guys. <sighs> what can I do? But. I am going to go ahead and answer questions now. So let's do that. Here we have Sarah saying she loves face reality. Face reality is the best from K-pop. Yay. 
Faye says, face reality cleared my skin, but now I haven't seen any brightening effects with using face reality. I still have PIH and acne scars and it's been four months. So I do want to address that. And it was kind of my plan to address that next week uh, because I just can't do too much all at once. It's hard for me to organize my thoughts and get it all out to you guys. So I am tuning in again next week. I am going to talk about PIH. For those of you that don't know what PIH is, PIH is that post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So whenever you get a blemish, and after it goes away, it's all healed, but you still have this dark red or purple spot there that takes so long to go away. It is normal. What PAH is, is this increased blood flow to the area. So what that means for you is that you still have, Faye, you still have a lot of healing going on. There's still blood flow to that area. Um, to support healing. That takes nine months to a year to heal. So I'm not surprised that it's not gone after just four months. It does take longer to heal. Some things that you can do um, until we talk next week, you can think about Neogenesis um, Skin Serum or Recovery Serum. Uh, the stem cells in there, the cytokines are gonna help speed up that healing. There's also, um, we can switch out your Mandelic Serum for us particular vitamin C serum that I like to use with acne clients. And then we can also layer over that. Uh, let me look at my basket here because I do think I grabbed it. You can layer over it. So here's the vitamin C serum. So you can replace your daytime Mandelic. Here I said I'm going to do it next week. I just can't stop myself. It's crazy. So you can do C2S balancing serum in the morning in place of your Mandelic, put it on, let it dry, and then use Sorella Lemon Lightening Serum on top of it. That can really be a big help for people with that PIH. Be gentle, be patient with yourself, because like I said, that's increased blood flow. It means you're still healing. There's still a lot of blood going there to try and heal those tissues. So let's go down here. See my next question. She's saying best acne safe sunscreen for a trip to the desert and extreme sun exposure for my very fair skin. And Mahalia answered that question beautifully. Solar X Clear Zinc SPF 50 is what you want to take with you and use. It is waterproof for up to eight hours, so that means it's gonna stay on while you're sweating. It's going to be the best thing that you can use. You can also take with you from Is Clinical, there's a powder sunscreen. And I like to use that when I'm out playing tennis or when I'm on vacation, and I use that to touch up throughout the day. It comes in some really nice tints, and it's a very, very fine powder, so it goes on beautifully. It also contains extremozymes. It's kind of a funny name, extremozymes, but that essentially is antioxidants that bubble wrap your DNA and protect you from DNA damage. So I would use the Solar X and then get the Is Clinical powder and touch up with that throughout the day. Best brightening product for milia prone skin. So here's Faye again. So you've got your PIH, but then you're also milia prone. So if you are milia prone, then you do not want to use L-ascorbic acid. So you won't want to use C2S balancing serum because that contains L-ascorbic acid. You're going to, you can definitely use the lemon lightning serum. You can use the mandelic serum because mandelic is very helpful for, for um, milia. Um, you can reach out to me. I'm thinking that there are also is, is clinical has some different vitamin C products that will probably be good for you too and will help brighten with that. So you can reach out to us on live chat and I'll, I'll look those up for you and make sure you get that information or just tune in next week and I'll be sure and talk about milia as well as PIH. Okay, then we have here um, WSD. Can you talk about the Is Clinical Peel Pads? I am interested in them because I have extreme pigment and white spot issues. Would this be appropriate and how often? So the Is Clinical Peel Pad is a system. 
you do it as a system every few days and it's very gentle it works very well it's not going to cause any flaking or peeling i like it for people who are hyperpigmentation prone because it doesn't disrupt the skin barrier and it doesn't get hot so it's not going to stimulate more hyperpigmentation um i had another thought about that um Oh, so you also have white spots. So what that tells me is that you have sun damage. So those white spots, that's a loss of pigmentation and it won't come back. I have the same issue um, on my arms, some on my face too. Um, places where I've actually lost pigmentation can never bring it back. So the most important thing that we can all do is to use powerful antioxidants on our skin and daily sunscreen to protect it. Now with hyperpigmentation, knowing that you also have pigmentation loss, hyperpigmentation is an inflammatory disorder. Um, much like rosacea is an inflammatory disorder. So as soon as your skin feels it's under attack or stressed out, it's going to produce pigmentation. So we need to work with that very carefully and in a very specific way. Um, honestly, I would recommend reaching out and doing our healthy aging coach coaching or a customized protocol so that um, we can be sure and get you on the right track. Most, you'll get the most help by doing the healthy aging coaching. And I know it's frustrating right now because it's down for the holidays. Um, we just could, I, I just couldn't keep up. So I've had to take it down and tone back for a little while, but get on the mailing list, email list for that and I will definitely be opening it up once we get through these holidays, and I would love to help you with your pigmentation issues, because I have the same thing. My mom has vitiligo. Um, I have poikiloderma on my neck, and that is where you get a white, <laughs> a white loss of pigment here, and then dark pigment all around it. So pigmentation is something that I struggle with and work with a lot, and I like to help clients with it as well. Okay, K-pop says, oh, and yes, Mahalia, actually Mahalia is so good. She has um, advanced certification in product development and formulation. So she um, said to you, um, Faye, with your milia that you could use Rhonda Allison C stem cell. Absolutely, that would be a safe vitamin C for you that will not be a problem with your milia. And then you can layer that under lemon lightning serum and that will be a nice combination for you. Thank you, Mahalia. K-pop says, my daughter is 10 years old and I have been seeing blackheads on her nose and developing tiny pimples. Is it safe for her to use face reality products? Yes, it is. And you would start her first with face reality ultra gentle cleanser. A 10-year-old usually doesn't know how to wash their face yet. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to reach back here and grab it. I would get her this for Christmas. This is our Hello Glow. It, it's a little cleansing brush that you can turn on. She can put the Face Reality Ultra Gentle Cleanser on it and then use it to wash her face. And because it's so fun and vibrating, it's gonna encourage her to cleanse a little bit longer and more thoroughly. So we find these to be super helpful for our preteens and teenagers. But I would start first with just the Ultra Gentle Cleanser and putting on the sunscreen, like your clear choice. This would be my start for her is the cleanser and clear choice or the cleanser and ultimate protection sunscreen. I would start there. I wouldn't put any acids on her skin yet. We just wanna start by getting her on a regular cleansing routine that will probably do the trick in clearing that skin. Um, once you've been on that for several weeks, if you're still seeing problems, then reach out to us and we can help you determine what the next step would be for her. Okay, and then we have K-pop back here again, and she says, what is the best product for smile lines? I have acne prone, sensitive combination skin, 
My skin cleared up from face reality products, but now I'm really concerned with aging. So I'm not sure K-pop how old you are. Um, smile lines, are you meaning nasal label folds? Are you meaning little lines around the lips? Or are you meaning some lines out here? Um, depending on your age, it could be that you have some dehydration going on. So probably my first step would be to get some kind of vitamin C and extra hydration onto your skin. Vitamin C is a great hydrator. So I might start by adding in skin scripts. Oh, we've got an age on there, 30. <laughs> I've got to go down to find you, 39. Okay, so skin scripts, citrusy nourishing cream could be a good start for you, but probably you're gonna want to grab, start out with the Promoter Repair Cell Cream add that in. We need to get extra moisture onto your skin because dehydrated skin shows all those little lines and it shows premature drooping and sagging. So the first thing we want to do is go after a little higher end moisturizing system for you. Keep using your other face reality products but add in some extra moisture. And so this would probably be a good place for you to start um, by adding in that promoter cell cream. And here we go. Here's Parvin Malik. Parvin, hello. I've worked with you before. What would you recommend for a very busy 24 year old with acne? Cleanser, serum, and moisturizer. Yes. So, like I said, if they have acne, they've got to do more than one product. And even though they're very busy, if they want to have clear skin, they're gonna to need to do the full face reality routine. So they're gonna to need to do the Ultra Gentle Cleanser, Moisture Balance Toner, and Mandelic 8% Serum, and then stick the Clear Choice. Stick on Clear Choice. That would be your daytime routine. At nighttime, you're gonna use the cleanser, the toner, and then you're gonna put on Acne Med. And you're probably going to start with Acne Med 2.5. If you've never used Acne Med before, don't start with 5. It's really strong. Do the 2.5 and you just sleep with that Acne Med on your skin at night. Um, and that's what you do for the first two weeks. And then two weeks later, you start using the Mandelic Serum twice a day. So you're going to layer the Mandelic Serum underneath the Acne Med. But to be honest, if this 24 year old really does have acne you're going to need to do the full protocol they're not going to be able to just do one or two products so that said gives you a little idea there um jamie says best product to give a brightening glow for acne prone skin where is it Lemon Lightning Serum, use this for your daytime moisturizer or use it under your moisturizer. You can layer this over your Mandelic Serum. Lemon Lightning is fantastic. This is from Sorella. Okay. What other questions do I, here we go. You guys have a lot of great questions for me today. I'm loving it. Move this just a little bit. And let's see. Is it safe to use a salicylic face wash while using the Mandelic Serum? Yes, it is. You can do that. Um, but just, we use different acids for different things. So I could probably do an advanced class for you guys on choosing your acids, right? So salicylic acid is that acid that is anti-inflammatory and it's gonna calm redness. But salicylic acid is also very drying. And so if you're blackhead prone, that would not be the right acid for you because salicylic acid will actually dry those blackheads down into the skin. Um, so it depends on the kind of acne that you have. If you have more pustular acne and redness, then you should be able to get away with using a salicylic wash um, when using Mandelic Serum. That said, I want to caution you that using a mixture of different acids and different brands and different products is usually a recipe for um, debilitating your skin barrier. And it's much better to use a non-acid cleanser or a Mandelic acid cleanser 
if you're using Mandelic Serum. It's much better to use a gentle clear cleanser and then use a little stronger correctives. You'll get a better result. Okay. So, Little Blueberry wants to know, what is the difference between Prime and Protect from Art of Skin Care and Clear Choice Sport Shield? So, Art of Skin Care's Prime and Protect it has a primer in it so the primer gives the skin some slip the primer um, in it is some sil it has a silicone base so it really helps prevent acne scarring it is a good makeup primer so you can put makeup on over it and it glides right on primer protect is tinted so if you have hyperpigmentation spots it helps to blend um, those dark spots and it is also very water resistant so Clear Choice is white, but when it goes on, it goes clear. Um, it doesn't have that um, primer base to it, although I find it works just fine with your foundations. You can even mix them a little bit and not have any problem with that. I would say you just have to maybe give it a try and see which one you prefer. Uh, they're very different. Primer Protect is very elegant. Um, clear choice is maybe one that you want to use on those days when you're not wearing foundation and stuff. Although Prime and Protect you want to wear when you're not wearing foundation because it balances out skin tones. So it's a hard choice. You should give them a try. Clear choice comes in a small size. You can buy the small one and see how you like it. And then at WSD says, thanks, you did give me a routine to follow via live chat. Yay! Just curious if this gentle peel system would be helpful for me. Appreciate you. Yes, um, it can be very helpful. I really like that peel system. Um, I've done it a number of times on my face, and it, I found it to be very helpful. So I do recommend giving it a try. We also have, there's that peel system, and then there's also the goat milk peel system. And I like them both. Uh, so it's hard to say which, I'd probably say that the Is Clinical is going to be a little more brightening for you. Jamie says, I'm almost 42. What can I do about the lines on the sides of the mouth below the cheeks? I'm acne prone too. So again, with these lines in this area, it's hydration. So a vitamin, adding in a vitamin C serum to your routine, adding in some better hydrating products to your routine at 42, definitely I would look at adding in the Promoter Repair Cell Moisturizer and maybe even Cataplea. I love Cataplea, it really works for any of those fine lines that are starting to show up on the skin. Sam wants to know what's the best to get rid of texture I have a lot of things that work with texture, but I need to know more about what you're already doing. Um, I recommend doing the custom protocol at Art of Skin Care because are you acne prone? Are you dry skin? Are you oily skin? What's your current routine? You can reach out to us on live chat. They'll ask you some of those questions and then they'll tag me and I'll bump in there and um, give a little bit of recommendations for you. Um, there's so many things that can really help with a rough skin texture from skin script glycolic and retinol pads to um, even the, the Mandelic serum from Rhonda Allison, the vitamin A from, not Rhonda Allison, the Mandelic from Face Reality or the vitamin A's from Face Reality can help with texture. I think the one of my favorites, says I'm racking my brain, is Rhonda Allison Salicylic Serum. I think it's called Salicylic A Serum. That serum, when you use it the next morning, your skin looks like Barbie skin. It's just so smooth. So you might want to incorporate that in your routine a few nights a week. It's pretty great stuff. Thank you for the compliments, you guys. You're so sweet. And Sam, who's concerned about texture, says I use Mandelic 
face reality already. So yeah, Sam, maybe add in Rhonda Ellison salicylic A at night or use face reality's vitamin A at night if you're not doing that already. Rhonda Allison what serum? So it's called Rhonda Allison salicylic and then the letter A serum. If uh, Mahalia's still on there, she could probably maybe even put a, a link, a hot link to it for us on there. Okay, we did it, you guys. We did an hour of talking about face reality products and keeping clear skin, addressing aging issues, dark pigmentation issues, while also keeping your skin really nice and clear. So next week, I'm gonna come back again. We'll talk some more about acne and we'll dive a bit more into hyperpigmentation, PIH and scarring and things like that. What to do, what's that next level, next step, next step things that you can do on your face reality routine when your skin is mostly staying clear. We can also talk about what to do if you are on a face reality routine and you've been there for a while and you're not staying clear. What kind of things um, that you can look at in your routine that might be helpful for you. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm sorry we got a little lost in the link I got a little messed up there, but I'm so glad that all of you found me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you again next week.